Gus, how many times have I told you about riding that thing in the house? Dad! Oh, he's fine. Hey, honey, our daughter is right. We really need to get organized. Uh, you were remembering I'm gonna be late tonight, right? Oh, how late? Well, after nine, I've got the uh, big dinner with all the partners. Yes, okay. Well, I have a six o'clock showing at the Horvath place, so, um... Scarlett, do you mind? Okay, okay. okay. I'll watch him. Okay. All right, you guys, well, there is chicken and quinoa in the fridge for dinner. What about cold pizza? Cold pizza? Honey, no, you've had cold pizza like three nights in a row, okay? You guys have a great day. It's cool. I love you. Good luck with the showing. Thank you. I know, it's gonna sell. It just takes the right buyer. I know it will. I hate quinoa. Hey, it, uh, could be worse. It could be steamed broccoli. Uh, you know that cat from the missing poster? Uh, what was his name? Tiger. Yeah, uh, I think I found him. You found Tiger? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. That's disgusting. I want to see him. No, you don't. Trust me, bud. Okay, I can drop him off on my way to work. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just on the way. Oh, thanks, man. Okay. All right, you guys, off to school. I love you. Have a, a good day. Good day, guys. Bye. How did he die? You don't want to know. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, welcome to Purgatory. Excuse me. Saw the moving trucks for neighbors. Cool. Yeah. I'm Seth. Scarlet. Yeah, I know. We have class together. It's okay if you don't remember me, most people don't. Well, it's it's nice to meet you, but I've got to get going. He's weird. Shh. Can I help you? I am so sorry. Pigs. Pigs are mammals of the same similar structure found in humans. Stomach, spleen, small intestine, kidneys, bladder. Now what we're gonna do, this little gal here, is we're gonna see those similarities close up. So first of all, I'm gonna make a little mark for our little autopsy, we'll call it. You see, it's quite easy to get right through that flesh. Now, we'll just pry it back with using the spreader here. Let's see what she's got in store for us. I was wondering why you don't want to be friends. Thought maybe I smelled bad or something, but... Sorry, I just, uh, I don't add people I don't know, and we just met. Yeah, okay, I got it. Can't be too careful these days, right? Okay, so when do you want to do this, then? Um, do what? Get to know me, I 
could come over to your house, you could come over to mine. Or... Look, can, can we talk about this later? I've just got another class, so. Yeah, sure. Well, um... Rain check on that one then, huh? Good to see you. Did you have dinner yet? Uh-huh. Yeah? Where's your sister? In her room. She's sad. Can I watch TV? Yeah, just for an hour though. Cartoons only. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Scarlett? Honey, if there's something wrong, we can talk about it. Honey? What's wrong? What is this? This creep across the street took pictures of me undressing. What? His name is Seth Duran, and he's one of my classes. He sent me a friend request, and I turned him down, but he wouldn't take no for an answer, and now he sends me this. Mom, he's really creepy. Honey, this is not okay. This is cyberbullying, and I'm gonna go over there right now and talk to his parents. But wait, are you gonna tell Dad? Well, of course. Mom, don't. He'll just freak out and tell everyone. <laughs> Honey, no, he won't. Mom, please. Okay, but if it happens again, I have to tell him. Okay, I'll be right back. you across the street right right hi um oh gosh i'm sorry i i probably should have come over earlier and introduced myself but um i'm nora bettner iris you sure have a beautiful family that little boy of yours i could just eat him right up <laughs> thank you his name's gus gus yeah my daughter scarlett goes to school with your son seth then hmm. There's no easy way to say this, so I guess I'll just say it, but um, he's been harassing her. Just what did Mr. Popular do this time? He's been sending her inappropriate messages online. Online? Yes, it's called cyberbullying. Ah, well, that sure sounds serious. Glad you brought this to my attention. Look, uh, the last thing we want is any kind of trouble. But if this happens again, I will have to go to the police, so you need to have a talk with your son. Oh, he'll hear from me. Don't you worry about that. Good, I appreciate it. Mm. Sorry to disturb your evening. Busybody bitch. What did you say? <sighs> Oh, I finally met the people across the street. Well, one of them anyway. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She was a real piece of work. What, worse than the cat lady who thinks we killed Tiger? <laughs> <laughs> no, this lady is so rude to me. Let's just try to win over the neighbors, honey. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen with this lady. Yeah. I mean, her son sounds like a bigger problem. You know what? Everything's gonna be all right. Let's get some sleep.
Well, I'm kind of stuck right now. Mom's working and Dad's out golfing with his boss. No, it's just me and Gus. You're so lucky. This place sucks. Everybody at school is a jerk or a total space cadet. I know. <laughs> I know. I miss you guys so much. I wish I could just move back. Be Hang on a sec. Oh, gross. A bird just committed suicide on our window. I better get rid of it before Gus finds out. But text me, okay? Later. Uh, Gus, I'm going out for a minute. Seriously, I'm so not in the mood for this right now. So, yeah, if privacy is what you're after, this is definitely the place for you. Gosh, excuse me, it's my daughter. Okay. Hey, honey. Mom, it's Gus. He's not in the house, he's not in the yard, he's, he's gone. What do you mean he's gone? I've looked everywhere and I can't find him. I, I don't know what to do. Not this bird couldn't have flown. Its wings have been pinioned. It's crude work, but effective. The girl said it hit the window. And it had help. All right, I want that turned around as fast as you can. Baby, I need you to think a little bit harder. Are you positive that you didn't hear or see anything else? No, I already told you. I was out for a second. I came back and he was gone. Now you said there was a dead cat too? Yeah, we found it in the driveway yesterday morning. Look, my daughter's been having trouble with a boy at school. He lives across the street. His name is Seth Duran. It wasn't just trouble, Mom. He's basically been stalking me. And when we ran into him in the front, he just kept staring at Gus. There's something off with him. Oh, wait a second. You think he took your son? Hey. You and I went up to Lakeview. We checked the creek and the gas station. Found... Seth. It's Seth Duran. It's him. If you don't go over there right now, I will. Okay. Val, put your game face on. We're gonna have a chat with the neighbors. The Duran house, huh? Yep, that's why you're doing all the talking. Or oh, who's... Uh... Who set the ring? Don't say anything, baby. This is harassment, and he knows it. Where's my son? I, I thought I told you to stay put. Now, Mr. Duran has agreed to answer some questions, OK? If we find out anything, you'll be the first to know, I promise. But right now, you need to go back inside and wait by the phone. He's right. Honey, this is not the way. Not the way? How can you say that? Our son is missing! Honey, everyone's doing what they can. We're gonna find him. Hey, I promise you. I thought I told you to get off my property. Hey. Hey! Oh, this is Bentner. This is Bentner! you! Officers, these people are trespassing. I'd appreciate it if you'd ask them to leave. Honey, this is just gonna make things worse.
passing the legislation for me. That's nothing. I checked every inch of the neighborhood. I'm sorry. Shh. Look at me, honey. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Honey, we're going to find him. We're going to find him. We're going to find him. Seven-year-old Gus Bettner is missing. They're here. Come on. Hi, Martha. We got here as soon as we could. Hi. Thank you so much. Hi, Dean. Uh, You okay? Where's Chris? He's um, he's out with the search party right now. Sweet. I have to ask. I mean, do you think he was taken? There's a boy that lives across the street. The police are talking to him now. You've built quite a rep for yourself since we last met. Petty theft, vandalism, possession with intent. It's like deja vu all over again. So is that what this is? You're trying to live up to Brian's shining example? Oh, tell me, Detective, how is the room service over at the Motor Lodge? You know, I just don't understand why you're so hell-bent in following in that loser's footsteps. Loser. Okay, how much longer you make me sit here and listen to this? I told you I didn't do anything, so... That's not what Scarlett Bentner said. <laughs> oh, man. She's the reason why I'm here? Seriously, that's it? You've been harassing her? <laughs> yeah. Maybe in her dream. She's not really my type. Kind of a... Yeah, kind of a bitch, actually. Do you like animals, Seth? Interesting. I thought this was about a missing kid. Yeah? Not another word, Seth. I missed the Duran's legal counsel, okay? My client hasn't done anything. Grab your things. We were just having a friendly chat. His brother and I were old friends. What is this? Ridiculous vendetta? People, you need to get your house in order. And you, wipe that smirk off your face. Yes, ma'am. Let him go? What do you mean you had to let him go? Did you question him? Yes, I understand what probable cause means. Does your captain understand that a child's life is at stake? into my house and assaulted me. I, I was just looking for my son. I overreacted, I'm sorry. We're gonna handle this, Mrs. Duran. Mrs. Bettner, you need to come with us. Yeah. Mom, what happened? Okay. You better be taking her to jail. I want her arrested, you hear me? You can press charges if you like, but right now I need you to go back inside and stay there. Do what? Assault the Duran woman. How'd you know about that? The officer up front told me. So you didn't find him? 
You heard what Quail said. We don't know that this is foul play. There's no sign of forced entry. The animal thing, it might be a coincidence. A coincidence? God, do you still think that Gus just wandered off? I don't know what to think, but it's not gonna help if you wind up in jail. So we gotta be smart about this, Nora. You gotta play by the rules. The rules? Chris, this isn't one of your cases. Our son is out. I know that. I was the one that was out there all day searching for him. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Let's just find him. Scarlet, I have something for you. It's a hope camp. It's for Gus. So wherever he is, and no matter how much afraid he may be, this will be a little speck of light in the dark, and it'll help guide him home. Thanks, Gran. Go put it by the window. or have seen anything about our son, Gus, to please come forward. We just miss him so much, and, and he doesn't deserve this. Uh, honey, are you sure about this? Definitely. In between classes, I can put up posters and... Hand out pamphlets. The more people that know Gus is missing, the better. I know, honey, but you've already been doing so much. Your dad and I are worried about you. I'm the last thing that you need to worry about. Really? Okay. I'll be here to pick you up after school. Okay. Passing it around? Yeah, for sure. No there are over 100,000 different species of arachnid. The only thing they got in common is eight legs and an attitude. Now, this one is my personal favorite, the wolf spider. He just doesn't wait for prey to come to it. He's proactive. They'll sometimes even hunt for prey in their own burrows. Take a look at that face. You see one? Do it! I don't know what you're doing! Get off of me! Get off of me! 
I don't understand how a message like this can be anonymous. I mean, doesn't the carrier have some way of tracing it? They did. A free terminal at the public library. Whoever sent this used an SMS spoofing program. Well, check the surveillance tapes. Find out who was on the computer. Can't. There's no camera. And the staff said they hadn't seen anyone matching Seth's description all day. Even if we place him at the scene, it'd be circumstantial at best. Circumstantial at best. Just like all the other evidence you think you have against him. So you're saying you're not bringing him in? For what? What? Kidnapping, cyber-stalking, loitering. We can't hold him longer than 48 hours before we have to charge him with something. Right. This isn't Guantanamo. We can't force confessions out of people. This is insane. Our son is out there dying, and you're telling us there's nothing we can do? We are doing something, Mr. No, not. The entire department is out there looking for your son. It's not enough! Nora. I've seen you talk about this kid. You know him? He has a record, doesn't he? He's been in and out of juvie several times, yes. Do you think he could do something like this? What I think doesn't matter. It matters to me. It matters to me that the people out there, they're looking for my son, have the good sense to see what's right in front of their faces. Do you think he could do something like this? Yes or no? If I were you, I'd be more concerned with Iris Duran. Because if she gets her way, you and your daughter might be sharing a cell. Thanks, detective. Let's go. We're leaving. OK. I'm going to ask you something, and I need you to think about it really hard before you answer. Okay? Okay. Are you sure, absolutely sure, that Seth Duran took Gus? Why? Just answer the question. Yes. I'm positive. But what difference does it make if they don't believe me? I believe you. Mom, what are we doing? Just gonna see where he goes. No, I mean, what are we doing? He took us. Maybe he'll lead us to him. And what if he doesn't? We'll play it by ear. Stay here. What? I want to come with you. No. Do you have your phone? Yeah. Okay. If I'm not back in 15, call 911.
Hello? Hey, honey, where are you? We're looking for Gus. I, I've been calling your mom, but she's not answering her phone. Uh, she's she's putting up posters. Can I get her to call you back? No, 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 it doesn't matter. We're uh, going to search the creek again. We're going farther downstream this time. Uh, the water moves fast this time of year. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love you. I love you. People don't give up, do you? Look, get this into your head, okay? I didn't take your kid. I'm not here because of Gus. Really? Then why are you following me? My daughter wants to apologize for what she did to your eye. It's gonna stop us from suing you? You're out of your mind. I saw your little transaction. What was it, marijuana or something harder? <laughs> yeah, maybe you should spend more time looking for your rug wrap than playing narc. Scarlett, where's Gus? Scarlett, get in the Where's Gus? Stop. Sounds like she doesn't want to apologize to me. Apologize? Stop. Stop. I would never apologize to you. Just tell me. What did you well, do to him? Stop. What did you do? Again? What did you do? How often? Scarlett! Get her the hell off. Mom. Trouble, right? Right? Okay. Honey, okay. follow me. Don't get lost. He's dead. All right, honey, pop the trunk. Okay. He's still unconscious. All right, let's get him out before he wakes up.
my son? I don't know anything about the son, okay? I told you that. I don't believe you. This was your idea, wasn't it? I was just trying to be friendly to you, and this is what I get? Just tell us where he is, and we'll let you go. Well, I wish I could. I have no clue because I'm innocent, all right? Yeah. Sue me. I like to get high, just like half the teenagers in this country. So what? What do you want? What do you want? Do you want money? I can give you money. Just tell me where my son is, please. Look, I'm sorry. I know, okay? I know this must be tough on you guys, but you gotta believe me. I'm not the person you want to be talking to. Who should we be talking to? I don't know. Maybe that cop. How about Which that? Which cop? Coyle, Detective Clark. He's always hated my family. Yo that makes two of us. Please. I'm gonna ask you nicely. One more time. Where is Gus? And then what are you gonna do, huh? You gonna torture me? Is that it? Don't you know that stuff doesn't work? Let's give it a try. <laughs> Cyberstalking, that was out of line. All right, I know it was, I know. But I am not some creepy pedo. You have to believe me, please. I didn't I do this. I want my boy! I want my boy! Stop! 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 What is wrong with you? that how long as long as it takes are you still with me what if someone comes out here they here. won't besides i'm the only one with the keys we have to tell dad no we, no no he can't find out the less he knows the better you mean in case we're wrong we're not wrong Bentner, I, I thought that SUV looked familiar. Y yeah. Oh, yeah. I, w I was just driving by the house and realized I hadn't watered the plants in a couple weeks, so... Yeah. I was just canvassing the neighborhood today. Oh, that's good. <sighs> I, I just wanted to tell you that I'll be briefing the state police tonight on the case. Oh, that's great. We're sparing no effort to find your boy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'll, um, I'll let you get back to it. Is everything okay, Mrs. Bettner? Oh. Yeah, I I'm all right. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be in touch. Thank you. How far are you willing to go? Sorry? 
Gus. What are you willing to do to find him? He's my son. So you do whatever it takes? Of course. Good. Go to school. Seth. Seth Duran. You listening to me? Taylor. Here. Emily. Here. Scarlett. Here. Seth. Seth Durand, Mitch, Holly, you have to do to get out of here? Just tell me where Gus is. I don't see Scarlet anywhere. Is she chicken out already? She's at school where you should be. I really hate that you're forcing me to do this. Look, lady, I can't tell you anything because I don't know anything. Did you kill the animals? No. Then who did? Are you protecting someone? God, come on, you know someone's gonna come looking for me. You can't keep me chained in here forever. He is seven years old. His birthday's coming up next week. If he doesn't make it to eight, I swear to God, you're a dead man.
Hammett boy, where the hell are you? Call me when you get this. Detective Coyle hasn't been nearly long enough. What can I do for you? You can let us in. What's this? Authorization to search the premises. Go nuts. Get Mrs. Durand in here. Tell her the good news. Yes, sir. Ma'am, can you come in here, please? Uh, now, please, ma'am. I'm coming. Exactly what this is about. Stalking little boys, Iris. You son of a bitch. You planted them. Place her under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. You just slit your own throat. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you. Take her away. In a court of law. You have the right to an oh, attorney. Oh. Go ahead. Turn that crap on again, please. Talk. Okay. Can you maybe just loosen these? First, I can't feel my arms. Can you still feel your fingers? It's not me. Who was it? I'll tell you. But I need something to eat first. Do you really think I'm that gullible? I think if you want to see Gus again, you better start making me happy. Iris Durand has been arrested. For what? No one knows. Yeah, Hugh's sister on the vice squad said it's all over the station, and apparently Seth is missing. He's missing? That's the rumor. I tried Detective Coyle, but he's not answering his phone. 
Uh, listen up, I gotta go. Can you just let me know if you hear anything? What were you doing out of school? It was a half day. How did you get here? The bus, why? No one followed me. <sighs> Don't do it again. Someone else? Who? I don't know, honey. He's probably lying. We don't have much of a choice. We do something for him, maybe he'll do something for us. Dry cereal? That's it, seriously? Oh. Beggars can't be choosers. Do you want some or not? Yeah. Ah. Oh. It's worse than the disco. Fine. I was, I was kidding, all right? Please, Miss Oskin. You'll get the rest when you start talking. Okay. Look, why don't I walk this through for you real quick? I know you're not going to kill me. You know why I know that? Because if you do, your daughter goes to jail as an accessory. So why don't you just admit you're not the one in charge here? Hmm. You think you're pretty smart, don't you? No, I am. And if you were smart, you would let me out here right now, before it's too late. Yeah, I didn't think you'd go for that one either. I'll get you some real food. But you have to give me something in return. To the best of my knowledge, she's still alive. That good enough for you? <sighs> what was that for? Just making sure you remember who's really in charge. Steak! Porterhouse, nice and juicy, nothing cheap. Oh, uh, some baked potatoes, too, I love. I love baked potatoes. What did he say? <sighs> Much. What, what, do you, what just happened? What's going on? I have some shopping to do. You just stay here. Don't talk to him and don't go inside. Anything happens, anything at all, call me. Something I don't? What? Well, we got groceries yesterday. Yeah, I forgot a few things. Yeah, I was on my way to the station. I saw your car and I thought, here, let me give you No, 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 it's, it's okay. Don't I got it. it. Let me give you no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. What's going on, Nora? Nothing's going on. We have to stick together, all right? Don't shut me out. If we can't trust each other, who do we trust? Get in. Remember when I asked you what you were willing to do to find Gus? Sure. Well, I have something I need to show you.
not coming in there unless you tell me where my brother is. I already told your mom everything I know. What, she didn't tell you what I said? Tell me again, where is he? Look, I don't know where your brother is. Okay, but I have a pretty good idea who took him. Who? You know, my voice is gonna give out if we have to keep doing this. Well, that's too bad because I'm staying right where I am. Well, is that what your mom said? Stay out of here and don't talk to me? I don't know, Scarlet. To me, it sounds like your mom doesn't trust you very much, does it? Scarlet, please! Please, please. I just want a little bit of water, that's it. Please! Scarlet, please! Come on, you gotta talk to me. What's going on? Where are we going? Horvath Place. Why? Because it's empty and private. What? It was that pig coil. He's had it in for my family forever. This crap again. You know, you need to start coming up with some better stories. It's not crap. Okay, you don't think a cop is capable of that thing again? Killed my brother. How? It's an illegal chokehold. Barely even got a slap on the wrist for it. They just transferred him to division, so my mom sued. He lost everything. His wife, his kid, his house, he's been living in a motel ever since. What does this have to do with Gus? Come on, see what's happening here, Scarlett. He's framing me so he can get back at my mom. Can you even prove any of this, or do you just like hearing yourself talk? You don't want to take my word for it. Go ahead, look it up. Brother's name is Brian, Brian Durant. Why don't you just tell the police? After they let him interrogate me for hours? They hate me. They hate my whole family, but you, I know you are a good person, okay? You can't be comfortable with any of this. I am not asking you to let me go. I'm not, I just want a little bit of decency, just something to show me that you care, please. I don't care. We both know that's not true. Water, please just a little water. I can barely even raise my neck, but and my back, everything's seizing up. You have no idea how painful this is, okay? Please, just. Scarlett, I promise I'm not gonna try anything. Just give me a little bit of water. That's all I want.
Oh my god, Ali, he's gone! Are you okay? What happened? Oh, I'm Mom, he's gone. Why? He's gone. No. He's she, gone. He's gone away. I, I'm such an idiot. I'm oh, so, oh, I don't know where he is. Who, who got away? <laughs> Seth the Randy? He's missing because you brought him here? Yes. <sighs> Come on, what the hell were you thinking? I don't know. I don't know. It just happened. It just happened. It just happened. This is your excuse? I was trying to get him to talk. Chris, I know. I know he had something to do with Norm, it. I know. He's an 18-year-old boy. Scarlett, let's get you home. Now, no, let's go. No, we need to find Seth. Well, what we need we to need... do is get in front of this, all right? Seth's probably already gone to the police. If we get there first, maybe I can keep one of you out of jail. Let's go. Let's go. I need you to make sure she stays in her room and lock all of the doors. If you see anyone strange hanging around, call 911. Anyone strange? What the hell does that mean? What's going on? Dad, we have to go. Long story. Detective Coyle has been relieved of duty. Relieved of duty? Why? Planet evidence. He's done here. Thought I could help. I'm sorry. <sighs> You're letting her go? No choice. Detective Coyle's evidence was our whole case. Without it, we've got nothing to hold her on. You can't let her go. She knows where Gus is. Miss Bettner, you need to think about your other child. And you need to stay away from Iris Durand and her son. And speaking of which, Seth hasn't been seen since yesterday. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No, of course not. What about your daughter? Has she had any more contact with him? Our daughter's got nothing to do with this. All right, let's go now. Grandma's fruit scones. Your favorite. Nice and warm, fresh in the oven. Scarlet? Oh, dear Lord. Looking for someone. Oh, yeah? Seth Duran. I know you guys know him. Oh, I think you got some bad info there, Jump Street. See, we don't know anyone by that name. I'm not a narc, okay? Look, it's really stupid, but he calls himself the Lord of Death. I just want to know where I can find him. I've got something he wants. I bet you do. <laughs> I just, if you're gonna ask. Hold on. What's it worth to you? Get 
enough? Okay, so talk. I heard he's been hanging out at the crack shack over on Grandview. Where in Grandview? Some creepy abandoned farmhouse. Now, if you like, I'll show you. No, thanks. was planted. That doesn't mean she's not guilty. You involved our daughter in a kidnapping and a hunch. There's no excuse for that. Mary. None. Yeah. That, no, no, Dad, calm down. No, I, I, I'm, I'm sure she's fine. What happened? Uh, Scarlet, she's gone. She won't climb out the window. What? Uh, no, don't call the police. We'll, we'll, we'll handle it, Dad. I'll call you. leave a message. Starlight, it's me. Honey, I don't know what you think you're doing, but you need to call me right away. Should go to find Seth. The parental control app, remember? I installed it on her phone when we bought it. It's got GPS. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. What's it say? Looks like she's on Grandview. Grandview? Where's that? That's the middle of nowhere. How far is it? How do we get there? Uh, well, take a ride up here. Sake, Nora. I hope it was worth it. Hmm. Cheers to you. What did you do to him? 
Well, he's drugged. I wouldn't worry about him. You, whatever. I wouldn't worry about him. Don't attach me. My mom knows I'm here. We just talked to her on the phone a few minutes ago. Um, this phone, man, with no batteries, no. I don't think so. See, I don't think anyone knows you're here. You know what I think? I think you came here to apologize. You felt bad for what you did. I mean, are you, are you sorry for what you did, Scarlett? They'll be here soon, I swear. You need to let us shut up, go. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> See, when I was stuck in that cage listening to the place from hell, in an odd way, it was kind of inspiring to me. Yeah, it kind of made me realize how much I miss my big brother. It was wrong. Yeah. And we shouldn't have done it. <laughs> we shouldn't have done it. Why don't you just let us go? And I won't tell anyone, I promise. I promise I won't tell anyone. Please, okay. please, okay. I won't. Okay. I won't okay. tell anyone. Be serious, Scarlett. I didn't hit you that hard. No, I think I should keep you here for a little while. Only seems fair, right? <laughs> it was her idea, all of it! It was her idea! Admit it, Scarlett, you liked watching me suffer, didn't you? No, that's not true! Yes, like yes! That. It is true! All right, my entire life, people like you have been acting with you are so much better than me. Laughing at me behind my back, calling me a loser? <laughs> well, who's laughing now, huh? Huh? Who's laughing now, huh? Steph, are you there? Downstairs in the basement, Ma. Shh. Seth, why would you bring me here? What in God's name? Tell me this isn't what I think it is. Tell me you didn't do this. You're always telling me I need to be more like, like Brian going on and on about how much you miss him. Now I'm gonna be just like him. Gus here is gonna be just like me. You idiot! You know what you've done. I thought you were gonna be happy. Happy? Happy? You morons! Call me that. Why would you leave Gus in that shed with those dead animals? Why would you do that if you wanted a stepbrother? That's what Brian used to do to me. You didn't know that, did your mom? That he used to take his kid brother out to the woodshed every night, lock him in, do things to him. Didn't know that, had no clue, nothing. No, 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 you lied. You're lying. Brian was a lot of things, but he was never crazy. This has gone too far. You have to untie them. Don't do it! Why did you make me do that, huh? They know it's you. They'll find us. You can't get away with this. I told you! Hello, my name is Chris Bettner. I think 
we found where my son is being held. Yeah, his name is Gus Spetner. He's been missing since the 15th. We're at 418 Grandview. Please hurry. Okay, I'm alright. We're gonna be alright. I love you so much. I love you too. 